Owning a Ford part, one million and three. That's the AC clutch of what's left of it. Let's show you the rest. So I heard this uh, rattling noise. I'm like, yeah, I drive a Ford, it'll be fine, right? Nope, as usual. There's something up there. Let's see if I can, yeah, yeah this one's really tight. Oh, scared stabilizers in the way. All right, you can see that plate. Oh, I'm trying to get you up in there because not only is this for you, this is for me to be able to see better. So that's shiny thing in front of you there. The uh, piece I just showed you was the outer ring that goes to that. They're all a little different, but essentially somehow I haven't seen the new one of these or the existing one of this before it broke, but uh, should be connected by, you know, a rubber plasticky or probably more just rubbery, some kind of vulcanized rubber, I don't know. Some sort of rubberized material to absorb the shock whenever the clutch kicks on, which the pulley, as you can see there, that is what grabs, you can barely see the edge there, the slick surface. When that piece that is over on the ground, whenever your uh, air conditioner kicks on, there's a coil behind this pulley. It, mm, long story short, it just turns into a magnet and pulls that clutch in. Well, that clutch is attached to that shiny thing. That shiny thing pulls in, it has splines on it, all connects everything, and it starts spinning the compressor. That's what happens when your AC kicks on. Well. As you can see, my rubber, whatever you want to call that material, it's probably rubber, we'll go with that. Whenever that wore out, it started causing this weird noise. I've been hearing it for a little bit, but it's one of those, it's like, yeah, there's just a little rattle. It's an old truck. It's got 200,000 miles. It's fine. But uh, finally started getting a little bad. Driving through the parking lot, people were looking at you like, uh, what's your hunk of shit doing? So I uh, decided to take it apart today. Oddly enough, it snowed today, so yeah, yay for that. Um, I'm fixing an AC in a snow day. Makes a lot of sense. It was a real fun call to O'Reilly's. So they were kind of laughing at me. It's okay. I was laughing at me too. But bear with me. I'm going to see if I can jam you up in the hole here. Maybe. Maybe not. Let's get a better look. I can't see the camera anymore. Luckily, I'm on my phone. Um, ah, dirt in the face. Not sure. You can't see anything, or if I'm just showing you nothing. Um, I think maybe I've got you looking at it there. I'm not sure. There it is. Uh oh, I hear hot rods doing hot rod things down the street. Fun times. All right, come out of light. Oh man, look at there. Now we can see things. Oh yeah, she's toast. So as you see here, there's. Well, maybe you can see. There's one little tiny eight millimeter bolt in there. Then comes off. I took it off just so I can drive around and go get parts and stuff. And it would, you know, throw something off and break everything. But uh, you can see the whole deal right there. It's a little shot. Definitely need a whole new pulley, clutch, and everything. But uh, contemplating on just putting a new compressor on. Like I said, 200,000 miles. She's been dry a few times. I had some evaporator leak. Um, didn't. Uh, I don't know if I got that on video or not. I may have. But, long story short, I think I'm going to put a new compressor on there. Actually, since I just showed y'all a really close view of it, I'm probably just going to review this film. And I'm going to get back to you. So hold on. All right, I uh, just got done looking at the camera there, checking out the film. You saw where the back of this surface here, which by the way, if you try to Google this part to see that side of it, mm -mm, not happening. All you see is this. Of course, it has a little doohickey like that sticking out. That's the, the shiny ring you saw in there with eight millimeter bolt. Eight millimeter bolt goes right there, sticks out a little bit. Has a splined shaft, or goes onto a splined shaft, so it's a splined hole. I guess it's reverse shaft, I don't know. Um, I can't think of the word right now. So, uh, trying to get out of the terrible lighting here. So this piece, as you can see here, I'm on my front camera, or selfie camera, whatever you call this thing on my phone. I'm trying to figure out the focus. It's also a new phone, so bear with me. I say it's better. Uh, all right, so you can see it's a little worn out. Uh, I'd say slightly oblong. 
ish you know there has been a little contact no does not mean no in this situation it just kept going so that's that uh so if you see here there's this that's the material i was talking about it's rubbery almost looks like dried caulk at this point but yeah it's it's everywhere let me go show you what i saw also Let's see can i turn this around nope i'm gonna stop you all right now up at the top so i hear noises i'm like standing here and i'm like yeah there's a noise it's over here on this side all right so we pop the hood come in here this is my oh for those of you who watched my previous videos i grow a coral wreath on my battery i think it's a fourth thing i don't know she's getting big next thing you know i have fish in there i'm gonna have to clean that out though i don't like sushi anyway as you can see like right there i opened um there oh right there okay on the side of that little metal ac line metal part of it there's like speckled which i thought was oil i'm like oh great my brand new motor that's got ten thousand miles on it is leaking oil already a little pissed but then i looked a little further get me down further in the hole here just go into the abyss all right now we're gonna like this is oh man i stuck my arm in the coral reef sorry about that nemo so down there is your compressor fully all right light light come on light focus work there we go all right so I'm not sure what you can see if you can see anything you can see the top what we saw earlier that uh metal ring the one that holds on the outside of the clutch i guess that's technically part of the clutch it's just the currently the non-broken steel bolted on part but you can see oh there it is right in oh hell never mind right there you can see it on the corner above my finger there's a black smear where you has been throwing what i thought of course was oil again but uh turns out that's that rubber material stuck my hand into here and it's all just crusty and chunky and all it was was it's disintegrated let me see get back out yeah you could kind of see in there but pretty much useless but yeah you can see the the stuff thrown everywhere and it's pretty obvious that's the problem so started looking into it you know checking on parts and whatnot and turns out that's my issue so uh gonna have to replace everything replace the whole thing however you say that um i know that whenever you do typically do your ac work which mine right now i think is a little out of freon was when they put the new motor in they pulled the cab and it made everything a little off or I, I i don't know i haven't checked i put some glow in there for the uh uv light so i can find the leak and ended up chattering and breaking before i got that chance and also got kind of cold i'm in texas so i said it's a snow day this is like snow apocalypse over here but really it was i think it was 40 degrees by eight o'clock this morning so it was white when i woke up but that's about it uh fixing all this is not on my priority although i probably should especially now if that chatter goes away with that um i'll get back to it and if i do it soon i'll put that video on here if as part of this if not i will kick it to another one thanks all right here we go so we're replacing the ac today i'll get to my little trick that i found here call it a trick it's a a good time to uh, talk about it. I've been kind of in a hurry. Have one of those just get stuff quick done, be finished, and now it's real windy. So if it's real bad windy, I'm sorry. It's, I don't know how good this microphone is on this camera. It's going to get. So pump, obviously. Pull the interfender line around. There's one little bolt. It's going to be right there. You can see it pretty easy. They got big washers on them. Um, one that's there kind of in a hole and there's two under here and then if you're lucky like me all of your little bolts have fell out these tiny little 5.5 millimeter screws that are terrible uh, the bump itself the AC compressor was pretty easy to get out um, the only bad thing was there's two lines your high side and your low sides on top the low side goes right over there 
and the side comes out, goes up, and then goes right. Uh, yep, right there. So everything was pretty easy except that high side. I could not. I I just got a little irritated. It was raining and about 40 degrees, so it was not fun being outside. But I had to do it. Got the new compressor on there. Uh, only out of sheer want to. <laughs> so of all of it, I was expecting to be a little hard. There's a lot of steps and stuff on YouTube. This one really easy. We got. You say, okay, there's one bolt there and two on the bottom side. Let's see if I can get you down there. There you go. Yeah, so from laying down on the ground, just over here, dock a little here, laying down here, it's uh, pretty open. It's, it's a little hard to get to see, but I mean, right up there. Got a lot of space to go between the steering stabilizer and the frame. Um, I had no problem. My arms were about two inches too short just because it was, uh, I had to keep me up off the ground to get up in there. Oh, 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 there we go. So you see, it's pretty open right there. Um, really, just not a lot to it. Take those three bolts out, take those two lines off. Oh, and this plug. Typical little Ford plug, you know, squeeze a little tab and pull it right off. It's kind of snug. So you see the new line there. Well, the high one, the high side, the one that's obviously brand new, is our own mine was frozen ish in there, whatever you want to call that. Get one here. Get some light. So here's that hose. That's the side it goes up right in front of your intake. This is what goes under the pump. Well, if you look in this direction, which is probably how you're seeing it on the truck, I got a little angry. Maybe some bad words were said. Maybe it's good that I wasn't YouTubing. Yeah, air chisel came out. Aggression got to me. Yep. Not a circle anymore. So, um, as you see, came out. I will tell you, if you have this issue, it can come out of the top. Like it can come undo that bolt. Just one bolt comes out really easy, easy to get to without the. Well, I guess if you have a factory intake box, you could probably pop that out. It makes it way easier. It just pops right in. Go look at that. See, I have the uh, no limit intake. So, I'm still here your factory box and this is dirty in here uh factory box just pops in this little hole pretty much just take the your, well yours will be up here on a cast piece take that one bandit clamp loose you might have to take your map sensor loose and the whole top of the box comes off and then you can just grab the bottom and pop it out of here it gives you so much extra space now if you just maybe need to replace your coolant or you just feel like buying that expensive stuff you take that off it make things a little bit easier but really just getting to the two line bolts those weren't that terrible really um, a thin wall socket is the best way to do it but it's if you have like a swivel it's finally got it it's just a little awkward to get to with that hose there because you need a deep socket but the wrench hits the hose or the uh, ratchet hits the hose whenever you try to turn it so it's one of those just frustrating things uh let's see what else i mean that's that's pretty much it you just take your belt off i mean that's your tensioners over there it's the same as any other process you know it's right down there you use a 3 8 ratchet and i use a piece of pipe for a little bit of lever fry it over that way and it takes it loose pop your belt off i mean it's a little wiggling i mean it's just small clearances right here it's not the super fun thing, most fun thing to do, but eh, it's easy enough. Can't really complain. Did it by myself in the cold, in the rain. Um, irritated to no end, just because of my situation at the moment. I was letting it get to me, but uh, not too bad. Really, not bad at all. The only part that sucked for me was I had to replace this line, which was like thirty-four dollars. So you know, not a terrible thing. Um, then I decided, uh, I, what I thought, I'm not sure if I want to show that part of the video, 
but I discussed this a little earlier. Um, wasn't going to do the, com the condenser because it was just my pulley that it went bad. Or the, technically the clutch went bad, the rubber disc that's in the clutch. Um, Everything's thrown out right now because of the bad weather working yesterday. So, there's supposed to be more pieces here. Yeah. Supposed to be behind there. And that is not supposed to. Let me see if I can be still here. Can you see the wiggle? Yep, yeah, she done. But, uh, ooh. I don't know if that sounds coming through on camera. But yeah, that is mm -mm. unhappiness. So, oh, there you go. I forgot to show you that too. Look at the uh, air chisel. Whoops. That bolt's a little crunchy, but it didn't, wasn't hard to come off or anything. This one came off like a breeze. There's your little plug. Uh, I mean, it was pretty simple, guys. It's, it's really not a big deal. The compressor part. Oh, sorry guys, I'm whew, a little sick right now. I'm having a hard time breathing. I'm not feeling so hot. All this wind and cold. So, you look here. This, uh, I did this not so easy to do thing. Well, everybody says you gotta pull this line. That is the little, I don't even know what it is. It, the cooler thing sits right, bolts right there to right there. Takes off. Now, I will tell you, everybody's like, oh, you're going to lose a bunch of coolant. So I'm like, nah, I'm smarter than that. You know, typical man thing to say. Well, I'm not as smart as I thought I was, apparently, because I was like, oh, got this great idea. We'll just take, see, if you try to, the bolts for this are right there. But you got to take these stupid little plastic things out. Can't stand this. I even got the little tool for it. You got this fancy little doohickey here. Yep, no, nope, still a pain. Um, got those popped off and then you take that this off 13 millimeter and this little stupid thing isn't out of the way uh, I had to take this one off too because down there it doesn't bolt it just sits in that little I don't know what you call it clip whatever and same thing on the other side so everybody's like oh you got to take this off which means you got to drain that really expensive coolant and I'm like nah I got this I'm gonna figure it out so I looked, I'm like, hey, this is hitting this. That's the problem, right? Let's just tilt it out. What does that take? That bolt, not really easy to get to. And then there's a bottom one, which it's hard to get like the C. It's right behind there. Oh, hold on. Oh, there. It's right there. Yeah, so get to it pretty easy. Um, I'll say don't waste your time. There's one there, one there, one up there, one over here. And the thing that bites you, it won't work flawlessly. Except for this hard little line right here. This line does not want to let you do anything. So, I even took this little hose off up here, which I believe is like the, the drain or something, or whatever for this. Maybe it's just that's what goes up to the reservoir. This stupid little clip. There's one of those. Also one down there. Now there's one somewhere down there. That's awesome. I'm going to find that in a minute. But uh, my grand idea of taking it off, sliding it back, and pulling it out there like I'm a genius was terrible. It didn't work. Um, yeah, don't try it. Uh, I'm pretty sure I was going to break something over there. Probably one of those solid plastic lines. And then I would have been real pissed because I lost all the coolant and I would have had well, what I ended up doing, thinking, all right, I can still beat this system. See my little uh, duct tape around a hose to make it bigger with a bolt, and then a piece of plastic in there just to keep the rusty bolt away from the cone. I don't know if that matters or not, whatever. Uh, and then I pinched it off, so I did this to start with. Be very careful. Like, it didn't pinch it off very well, but it wasn't like full flow, because I'm afraid as you pinch, like right back here on your channel locks here or these uh vice grips kind of gets a little pokey so i didn't want to tear anything up uh and then i did two just to try to even out the pressure a little bit or something just made me feel better but pulled this hose clamp off um had this already taken stupid thing off 
So you kind of, I had a little screwdriver. This little thing I made a long time ago for getting the door panels out of an F-150. Right inside the one finger. so many times you take it just kind of work it around there to get it loose off the end of the pipe right there that's yeah. well stand back here and wiggle real fast hold this up tilt it up and it kind of worked holding it in there which is barely slowly coming out uh this one immediately just flip it up and it hooks right there very easily I had a bungee strap ready to try to hold it and then end up being the way so Stuck it there, good to go. This side, jam my little contraption in there, good to go. And it's like wet, but not leaking. Uh, probably lost like, I don't know, a pint, if that. Like I may not even have to worry about filling it back up. So this side, I was like, oh, I'm gonna tie it up, whatever. Just, no, you can't do that, because you take this bolt loose, that bolt loose, and then it kind of comes up to get out of that bottom slot. And then, you have to get this around here so you just have to kind of work this in kind of hold and wiggle your pipe up in the air flip this out and once it comes out a little bit then you can pull it kind of shift it this way to get it out of this nonsense over there that hose is a little bit in the way but be careful don't drag these tabs here you go. The tabs and the mounting tabs for this don't drag them and tear up your fence over there uh, luckily i thought of that so i didn't do it but it would be very very easy to do um that's pretty much it. I mean, once I gave up on trying to get it out without losing any coolant, I tried losing a little bit and it worked pretty well. So, yeah, we just got to put it back together. Um, I went ahead and put this in. Um, just if any of you are doing the same as me, I got went to O'Reilly's. And I'm pretty sure, so this thing had two plugs over there. This is your accumulator tube. And the bottom down here is, down there, is your plug. And it says you should put an accumulator in there. Well, it's got a plug in it and it's pressure seal. I know that because when you take the little cap off over here, I turned around and I heard pop. Well, apparently it's shipped with pressure in it to, to know if there's any leaks or whatever. Um, shot off and I was like, oh, okay, it's sealed. And I just think it would be weird. Why would they give you a sealed condenser without a new one of those in it? Like an accumulator, like it just seems dumb. So I didn't want to take the cap off just to find that out, you know, break the seal up more moisture in because you really want to keep this closed up as long as possible. The point of the accumulator is to get any moisture and stuff out of the system. Well, if you open those two ends and diddle around for ever trying to do everything else, then more moisture gets in just from the outside here. I don't know. Maybe, maybe there's a plug in there, maybe there's not. I'm pretty, I'm going to go if there is one in there because this thing was like $170 at O'Reilly's. Um, the accumulator was 90 I bought both and then when I got here I realized oh wait a second I think it's in there I called them and you know their issues for this most part well they don't really know they just sell it so I'm gonna go with it's in there and hopefully I'm right uh, I think uh, that's 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 pretty much it that's it was real simple do some little quick little nonsense to jump that back in there and probably lose more than I lost taking it off If you're noticing that, um, it was part of my let's try something different thing. Didn't work. But got the gauges hooked up right now. Got the gauges hooked up. Got the, gauges hooked up. Got the uh, vacuum pump running. Pretty good. Full of vacuum right now. But uh, that's it, guys. All right. I'm gonna continue doing this and check it out. Something else went wrong or how this hose thing went in a minute, so be right back. Thought of some um put them back together. As you see, that's the after that is the same as the before. I put this one of those back in there, got it. This one down here, can't get it, what the hell with it. This, so you see, we'll pry it out of there. It's kind of like the little Christmas tree things. my wires hanging on to it. I've got other stuff. It's, since I switched bumpers, I have not finished putting it 
putting it all together. So there's wires hanging, um, whatever. That line, take it loose. It was good to wiggle. Good to leave it though. That in. This goes here. This goes to your drill, which I don't put in anymore because I take more a lot of time. Got some awesome Christmas lights that I hang in there, things like that. Um, orange back on. Got this piece all in there. Put that in there. Made sure I got the hose clamp back on right there. Made sure to get a thorough application of cooling everywhere. Stuff real sticky, so that's awesome. I think that's pretty much it. Um, I did almost forget to put the bottom bolts in for my little experiment that I was doing. Um, oh, what I was going to show you. So you've got these little clips. You may or may not have wondered, hey, how do you get those off? So we take that little screwdriver I showed you earlier. Take this little thing. I wish that maybe I'll do this on camera. And this one. Take this one. Oh, that one's already done over there. Take it, and you can kind of see if I can get you in there. You can see, oh, there it is, okay. Oh, this is hard doing it through the phone. All right, so you stick it in there, kind of just jam it. And then I took my other little thing, which you can take to your driver or knife or whatever. Just kind of pry up right here as you wiggle this in further and eventually just kind of let's go. Didn't break anything, that's awesome. You have to take it off because it's, you can see it real well. All right, there's shadow, do I want to just get all shadow? There we go. All right, so that's what it looks like when it's off. Okay, just slide it back over there. Click it back down. Good to go. Uh, I'll come back if I think of any other little things right now. That's it's going smooth, going easy. Let the vacuum pump still run. It seems to be holding the vacuum, so get it charged up and get it going soon.